today's episode of The Tenant. I'm in Prabhadevi in Mumbai, a location that is synonymous with the famous Siddhivinayak Temple and has strong connectivity to the two key business hubs of Bandakulla Complex and Lower Parel. Our tenant today is a human resources professional who shares a strong passion for Mumbai history. Why is he living over here? What works for him and what doesn't? Let's meet him. Hi Vishal. Hi Vinayak. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm in particular excited about uh, this chat. Not just because you're a tenant, okay. but uh, but more because of your background uh, as someone who follows the history of Bombay. Okay, okay. Uh, but, but yeah, before we get to that, and I can see many books of Bombay around here yes, only. Yes. Yes. Uh, this apartment looks a lot bigger than I had expected it. <laughs> yes. So yes. how big is it? Uh, it's around 900 square feet. Okay. Yeah. This is built up area, carpet area. Built up. Built up area. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how many people stay in this apartment? Just my wife and I. Okay. So what is it that uh, got you guys over here? What was this location in the location or the house in the location or the house in the house? Okay. Uh, so the story really starts in 2018. Uh, my wife and I both work in the same office. That's okay. where we met. Okay. And uh, both of us wanted to, you know, live very close to the office when we eventually came over here. Okay. So we were li living in separate flats, very nearby to this location. And um, in 2020, when we got married, we were looking then for a new flat and thought that let's find a place which is still very close by. And we liked the area in itself and started hunting for flats in around November. Uh, so both of us were in our respective cities. We flew here. Uh, I was in Delhi, she was in Hyderabad. We flew here for a week and set ourselves a deadline to find a flat in that period. So we used brokers, we tried the no broker option as well. Uh, eventually then zeroed on uh, down on this place and uh, we really like the hall that's that's kind of why we chose this flat as well mm -hmm. and of course it's proximity to our office which is a 10 minute walk from here okay so, yeah. so you and your wife walk to work then yes yes very much so basically location is office ke pass mein tha iske liye location ho gaya yes aur ye ghar mein kya tha yeah that got you to this uh, so, ये घर में देखिए hall जैसे आप enter करते हैं as आपने बोला कि you know it looks much bigger than what you expected तो so, that was मतलब वो सबसे पहले वही हमें लगा कि इतना बड़ा hall है large open window है you know it looks out into an open area so that got us really excited also हमें अपना खुद का घर design करना था तो so, इसलिए it was unfurnished so that was good for us as well so we wanted to get things on our own set it up the way we want to so that was another added option that uh, you know good good uh, part of this particular flat that we like how many apartments did you see before you lined up on this uh so roughly around 7 to 8 okay. uh, is is what we saw in and around the vicinity uh but yeah this is one that we like the most okay so that's not uh too long a period yeah kafi tenants have heard that 25 30 40 apartments dekhte hain aur unka ek mahine ka search hota hai yeah 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 okay so what's the part of the apartment uh, that gets used the most. So it's the area where you're standing in. It's okay. the main hall. This is where we spend most of the time. And if there's anybody visiting, of course, also, this is where we usually have them. Uh, so yeah, whether it's eating, uh, you know, watching anything together or just calling people over, this is the area. Or even if we're working from home, uh, I use a corner of the hall as well to, to work from home too. So yeah. Okay, and I can see uh, quite a bit of color in this uh, place. Yes, uh, yes. Over there and there. Right. So, who's the colorful one between your wife and you? So, it's both of us. Uh, both of us take the credit for the color. But uh, individual furniture items, each one has their own preference. So, she, for example, chose the chair over there. Okay. Uh, and I chose the table over there on that corner. Okay. Uh, that is also, in fact, the area where I work out of uh, when I'm working from home as well. Okay. So, this is your work from home. Uh, spot. Yes, yes, very much. Okay. And uh, I actually want to talk about this particular 
uh, item that you see over here. So this is in fact the old currency of Portugal uh, called the Esquidos. So before the Euro came in, uh, the Esquidos was used over there. And the reason why I've kept this framed is because of the person who has been represented over here. Who his is he? Name, his name is Garcia de Orta. So Garcia de Orta has a very strong connection to Mumbai because uh, it is said that at one point in time he owned the Mumbai island because Mumbai was a culmination of seven individual islands. Now, it's not something when you think of an island, you think of Maldives or you think of, you know, clear blue waters or white sandy beaches. As a, there's nothing like that. It was a marshy, mucky area. You know, a lot of mosquitoes were there. So when the tide would come in, you would be having individual islands. But when the tide would recede, you could actually walk from one island to the other. So he owned Bombay. Uh, 500 uh, yeah, years 500 back. Yeah, 500 years back. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Interesting. Yeah. So, so this is life before East India Company. Kafi logo ne Mumbai mein ya India mein East India Company suni hai? Ji, ji. Ye uske pehle hai? Ji, ji, exactly. This is before that. Okay. Uh, so this is the living room. Like you said, uh, big uh, by Mumbai standards for sure. Right. Uh, can we see the rest of the apartment? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Please come. So now we go and see the uh, bedroom and kitchen section, right? Right, that's right. Okay. Okay. So this is the kitchen. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, it's it's quite spacious. There's enough space for you to move around. Uh, you know, all this storage area was already there, so we didn't have to buy anything additional for that. And yeah, it it was something that uh, again appealed to us to be able to then build it the way we want to. Um, this is a big kitchen actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And one thing which I was very particular about was that uh, we should have like a, a piped gas over here so you don't have to worry about the cylinder and everything because some of the flats that we saw actually had that uh, situation as well. Then these are the, this is the bathroom? Yes. Uh, bathroom section? Okay. Yes, these are the two individual rooms that we have. Okay. So one would have been for a shower but we're not using it as much. Okay. And that's the toilet uh, next to it. Okay. Yeah. And then come the uh, bedrooms. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. So this is uh, one of the two bedrooms. Okay. Uh, so we've made it like a guest bedroom. So that if somebody is visiting, uh, we have this sofa come bed. So, you know, you can pull it out and use it ever if need be. Also an additional workstation. So if, in case both of us are working from home, mm -hmm. uh, then one of us can, you know, sit out of here as well. And uh, just another additional space where we keep uh, more books. So this is a smaller bedroom. Uh, it's a smaller bedroom, yes. Okay. And the master bedroom will be here. Yes. Okay. So this is the master bedroom. Okay. That's right. That's right. This thing. This thing is is master bedroom. Otherwise, it's coffee time. I think Mumbai. I think that. Master bedroom and other bedroom is not much different. Only 2-3 foot difference. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So this is the uh, this sort of size got it done for for you because you are from Delhi. So <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think a very interesting episode happened when we came in. So when we were thinking about bed, we were thinking about getting a bed. Now what is it? I am from Delhi. There is a king size bed. Hai. So and, and, and I'm used to large open spaces as well. So it's a lot of fun. तो जब मैं यहाँ पे भी बेड का सोच रहा था ऐसे कि चलो साइज़ बेड लेते हैं यू हैव योर स्पेस एंड व्हाटेवर अब नाउ शी वाज ऑफ़ द ओपिनियन कि देखो लेट्स गो विद अ क्वीन साइज़ बेड बिकॉज़ अदरवाइज़ उस ज़्यादा जगह खा जाएगा बट आई वाज ऑफ़ दिस इम्प्रेशन कि नहीं फिर तो देन यू This is good space, uh, uh, I think, across the board. So, uh, Vinayak, how much is this costing you? So, when we started, uh, you know, when we when we took this flat, the rates were fairly low during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, we started with 53,000 uh, per month and there was a uh, two-year lock-in. Uh, we got an agreement signed and uh, then, of course, we went with a 5% increase after every year. So now, after completing two years, it's around 58,000 that we are paying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's two-year contract, 58,000. Yeah. And how much deposit? Uh, we had around 1.5 lakhs as a deposit. 1.5 lakhs as yeah. a deposit. Okay. So, you know, just when we were coming in, uh, I noticed some 
paintings as well. Right, right, right. Uh, those are done by you. No, I wish I was such a good painter. Okay. Uh, no, those have actually been uh, put up as an exhibition in okay. the Khaki Lab. So these are those paintings that first captured my eye the moment I came across this section. Okay. So what's this about? Yeah, so this is a clock tower which is located in the premises of the Dr. Bhav Dajilad Museum in Baikala. Rani Bagh, where you are. Uh, so this has been donated by the family of a very very wealthy businessman by the name of David Sassoon. You have David Sassoon library ke mein suna hoga. Kala Goda area mein very famous. So uh, he has a very interesting history as well. Uh, you know when he came to Mumbai, he came from Baghdad. He was a Baghdadi Jew. Uh, when he came to Mumbai, he didn't know a word of the local language. He couldn't speak English. Right? That time the East India Company was there in the 1840s. But by the time he died, he was one of the richest people in the world. And uh, his empire, you know, went all the way up till Shanghai and Nagasaki in Japan. And, and you know, it goes to show that this city really can do wonders for anybody who comes there. And uh, hence, I thought it's a good piece to have with me as well over here. Okay. So, uh, Iraqi uh, does, not know, does not know the local language, yes. but yet becomes one of the wealthiest men in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we've got some good uh, historical nuggets from you. Uh, this place itself, Prabhadevi, uh, it's become a very hot market yeah. and glamorous also. Yeah. Uh, glamour because of the skyscrapers that we see. Right. Uh, hot because of the connectivity that has happened after uh, the business centers have moved around it. Right, right. Uh, so, since we have, we have you with us, uh, why don't we check out this area? Sure. And you can give us a good pulse as to what Prabhadevi is. Sure. And sure. Uh, the entire neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's go. Come. So, when I, uh, when we are coming up, uh, I call this the glamour micro market of Mumbai. Right. Uh, what's the most glamorous thing about this area for you? Well, look behind. That's the glamour that you have right there in front of you. A great view of the Bandra Valley ceiling. Uh, but not just that, uh, Vishal, you have a lot of interesting personalities, celebrities living around the area as well. Uh, so, for example, you see over there, that's Beach Towers. So, Beach Towers uh, at one point in time was in the premises of uh, the Bombay Dying. Right? So, you must have heard about the Wadia family, right? So, Bombay Dying was started by the Wadia family in 1870s and their first ever dying facility was located right there uh, and today of course there's a high rise and many other apartment complexes that are there in that area but uh, Sanjay Manjrekar used to live here at one point in time and I've heard that Namrata Sharodkar used to live here as well uh, so that's you know one very interesting part of it if you look on the opposite side you have Rohit Sharma's residence, Ahuja Towers, right next to it you have Beaumont, which many people know as Deepika Padukone's residence. So you have that over there as well. You said that here Rohit Sharma, Deepika Padukone, uh, a lot of wealthy and famous people have built a house. This place is also famous that there are many skyscrapers here. Yeah. Fancy right. skyscrapers. Absolutely. Do uh, you want to live there? Yeah, why not? I think I uh, area a lot of It's quiet, it has a good vibe, you get facilities are available here. So I wouldn't mind living in a skyscraper. But I think more than the amenities would actually be the part about having good space. And what is your philosophy? That the model of model rent or buy it? Look, when I'm in Mumbai, mein hu, absolutely, I think rent will continue for me. Agar khareedna bhi pada to, I'm sure affording in this area, which is so premium, uh, will be a challenge. So, yeah, I'll continue with the rental model. Since you're in Delhi, yes. what's the one thing that uh, uh, Mumbai has that Delhi does not have? That, that makes people like you come from Delhi to Mumbai? <laughs> no, I think the people, uh, I have to say so. I think the level of uh, you know support that you get from even strangers around you is something that you will never exhibit in Delhi. And uh, see, Delhi se koi bhi agar idhar aata hai to bolte hain, aray space kam hai, log bahut zyada hai. But frankly speaking, I think uh, this city has people from all over the world and of course the country coming over here and trying to you know make a living for themselves. 
बट द फोकस इज ऑलवेज नॉट जस्ट ऑन कि मेरा खुद का क्या हो रहा है बट दूसरों का भी भला हो कि ना हो एंड आई थिंक दैट लेवल ऑफ वॉम्प दैट यू सी इन इन पीपल ऑफ मुंबई डेली विल नेवर हैव और मुंबई की विंटर अभी अभी पीक विंटर हो गई है पीपल लाइक मी आर इन स्वेट शर्ट दैट्स वन पार्ट यू मिस अबाउट डेली That is that is one part I miss about Delhi. I I love Delhi की सर्दी. Although you you reach a stage where मतलब कुछ काम नहीं करा जाता because इतनी सर्दी होती है. Especially if you're working from home, it's a nightmare. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy Delhi की सर्दी and you know stepping out, having uh, food or or you know roaming around with friends. That that is something I really miss. Okay. On that note, Vinayak, uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, fascinating chat with you. Uh, you're a tenant, uh, an HR professional and for this show at least uh, important historian has given some good <laughs> interesting uh, tales about prabha devi and mumbai so thank you for coming on my pleasure my pleasure thank, thank you. you so much time for the report card first up at the apartment and building level uh, this is a spacious apartment by mumbai standards uh, i reckon close to 750 square feet on a carpet area basis the building uh, is old uh, it doesn't have amenities uh location this is a very well connected uh, micro market to the two key business hubs of mumbai bandra kola complex and lower parel uh, it's not too far away even from the old rich of bombay that is south mumbai connectivity uh, road connectivity is uh, strong and smooth uh, rail connectivity not very convenient uh, the closest railway station is pretty far away so all in all uh, if you're a person or family uh, that wants access to this micro market because of their workplace being at lower parel or bandra kola complex isn't very hung up about amenities uh want some degree of a sea view this will very well be the sort of project and locality to be considered What Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman says on taxes, subsidies, growth, education, health, crypto, global factors and domestic recovery, every word will be crucial. Every word will be analyzed. But don't worry, money control got your back. Our team will be interpreting every aspect of Budget 2023 and how it impacts your life. What's becoming more affordable? What's becoming more expensive? What are the stock recommendations and expert views? Real time, minute by minute coverage. Hop onto Money Control to have it all. Money Control, the only digital channel to non-stop live stream budget coverage for over 12 hours. Join our experts, analysts, and editors. from 7:30 am onwards on the 1st of february think budget think money control